Today I'm going to show you how you can make these absolutely beautiful paper beads from junk. Junk like this plain old paper bag. Hi, it's Jilly here from Funcraft to do at home.com. Stick with me and I will show you several different ways that you can make these beautiful beads from rubbish. So first of all, I'm going to show you how I made some very delicate beads from this paper bag. I open the bags out and then I use a sheet of A4 card to make a nice neat sheet of paper that I can put through my paper shredder. And here are my shredded paper bead strips and I'm going to use my 3mm paper bead rolling tool. Now those of you who watch my videos regularly will know that I designed these tools myself and I manufacture them myself and they are available online. If you would like more information about where you can get these tools you can look in the description below and you will find a link to my website funcrafts to do at home.com and there you will find information on both of the bead tools that I sell. I sell a 3mm which is what I'm using here and also a 5mm which is generally used to make European style beads. So there's the first bead that I've rolled and you'll notice that in order to get um, the bead looking the way I want I do snip the ends of some of the strips so that I've got more of a patterned finish and there they are. The next thing that I'm going to do with these beads is give them several coats of glossy accents which is my favourite glaze for my beads. It does make the beads really durable and reasonably waterproof. To make it easier to glaze them I do put the beads onto the end of a bamboo skewer and then I dry them on toothpicks stuck into a piece of oasis which I believe is used in floristry. Then when they're dry I am going to fit these one eighth of an inch craft eyelets. I'm using them as bead cores but first of all I'm using another bamboo skewer to make sure that the core holes are stretched out to their fullest extent and this makes it easier to fit the craft eyelets which I attach with glossy accents. I just find that when I am dealing with the smaller beads, it does make life easier if I use a bamboo skewer. And then I just slide the bead on, push it down, and it makes the process of fitting the craft eyelets much easier. And as you will see in a moment, when, when these are all done, when you see them all together here, they look like delicate china beads. You would never believe that these are made of paper. So I'm just going to pop them into a plastic cup and put them to one side because I'm going to show you a couple more techniques. 
You can hear as they go into the container how robust they are, considering that they're very thin paper. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is a piece of scrap copier paper that I used in another project and it's shredded and I'm rolling the strips in exactly the same way as I did the paper bag strips and what I'm actually doing here is using the plain white beads I'm using them as a base and I'm going to cover them with some very pretty wrapping paper that I have left over from my birthday. I never throw anything away. When anyone buys me a present I always keep the wrapping paper and this one is particularly pretty. I think people kind of know that I use their paper to make beads and I get some really gorgeous wrapping paper with my presents. So once again I am cutting it down to make it A4 because it will go through my shredder nicely. So there are my strips. Now obviously I'm not going to need to use a whole strip per bead because I only need to cover the white so I just need enough to go around the bead. So I'm measuring how much of the strip I need to cut off. And I'm using that as a template to cut more strips to go around all the other beads. And I just find it easy to fold my strips up kind of like in a concertina way and then just snip them off like this. Then I painted the ends of each of the white beads with this starlight metallic gold paint because when the bead cores are fitted they don't cover the whole end of the bead. And once again I'm using the bamboo skewer to fit the craft eyelets. I'm not sure if I said before these are one eighth of an inch craft eyelets and they make perfect bead cores when you use the three millimeter bead tool. And there they are. All painted and have their craft eyelets fitted. So now I just need to cover the be the white beads with my pre-cut strips of wrapping paper. You may notice here that I have wrapped some masking tape around the bamboo skewer. It just makes the skewer easier to manipulate. So I'm going to put some Pritt stick on the back, on the entire back of my wrapping paper strips. And then I'm going to very carefully wrap that around my white bead. I mean, these, these are materials that could easily be thrown in the rubbish. You know, how many people just screw up wrapping paper and throw it away? Or, you know, copy a paper that's been used for other things in other crafts. It's so easy to throw paper away. But, I mean, look at what you can make. You know, these are from junk. You know, and a bit of paint and the craft eyelets and some glossy accents you've got some beautiful beads so the next technique I'm going to show you is another paper bag and I'm opening that out and I'm going to use I want I want to make triangular shaped bead strips with a one inch base so I'm going to use one of my 
templates. Now, these templates have a number of uses and they are available in my Etsy shop. Once again, you can go to the description below the video and find a link to my website where you will find links to my Etsy shop and various other places where you can buy my products. So this bead template that I'm using here can be used in a number of different ways. Um, it's part of a set, although you can buy them individually. So there are the triangular bead strips that I have cut from that template. I will be showing you in my next video what to do with the white template strips that are left over. So if you do do this project, don't throw your strips away. And because this paper is so thin and delicate, it does make very skinny, delicate beads, which you are going to reinforce by putting three coats of glossy accents on. You'd be amazed at how robust these beads become once you have glazed them. Now this time I'm going to show you another way to make triangular bead strips by using this stencil template in four different sizes. Now once again this is something that I manufacture myself and I do sell online and again the link to where you can get these templates is on my website. And at the moment, for those people who want to buy both of my bead tools together, I am actually giving away the template that you just saw me use, the stencil, should I say, I am giving away completely free when you buy both of my bead tools, the 3mm and the 5mm. Um, have a look on my website and you can find out the details. So there are my beads, my one inch triangular strip beads. I'm going to give them three coats of glossy accents. And here you see how I strung my beautiful beads. Just using these tiny little gold beads, they look absolutely beautiful. And people are amazed when I tell them that these are made of paper. Because they really do often think that they are china beads. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified when I upload new videos. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Happy crafting and bye for now.